subscribe to my channel, please call me DNA. We are here with Stray. I'm ready to get into this and see how we can try to get up and out. I'm so ready for this game. I got my little cat mug. Look how freaking cute it is, and it's got a cat inside. I'm scared to tip it farther because I don't want to spill it. But anyway, let's go. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we gotta find our way across there. Can I jump into this bucket? Hell yeah. I don't want to talk to this dude. Sir, what are you throwing? Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Oh. He's pissed off. Oops. <laughs> He's mad now. All right, cool. That was probably for like a later mission or something, but hey. A little destruction never hurt no one. Alright, I gotta get over there now. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm sleeping. Didn't know I could do that. Alright. We're just gonna head over here, cause I- I'm getting distracted. Come on, Cat, get up, bro! That one goes down. We want to go across. Is that a crystal? What is that? Crystal and candles? I don't know. I can't tell. I just want to break stuff. Cheap music. Cool. There's the book. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is gonna according to plan. We managed to collect the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown. And apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know his look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Hmm... Somebody keeping us down here. I don't think there's anything in here. The music turned off and it's kind of weird. Robo oil. <laughs> Robo oil. How lovely. How lovely. Alright, I don't think there's anything else in here for me to get. So I could scratch up the carpet somewhere. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's leave. I'm looking for another symbol. Looks like a frowny face. I'm not seeing it. Who's this? What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. Well, fuck you too. i 
I'm not seeing any more of these symbols. This is going to be hard. Who are you? Don't mind me, sir. Just, uh, ruining your furniture. You look so upset. Oh, hey, it's you! You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Cheap music, energy drink, notebook. A show notebook. There's a logo of the Outsiders. If they were a group of people looking for the surface, Momo was one of them. One day they decided to put their plan into action and went into the sewers. Sadly, not a peep from the, them since. For some reason, Momo stayed behind. I think he'll always regret that decision. Poor guy. I don't think he's gonna help me. I think I do need up here, though. I need to get another one of these, like, drinks. Sweet! I just turned on the TV. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Oh, there's one! Follow the light. Going in here. Wow, there's books everywhere. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be a creative as a real human. Volume 42. Is that dude dead? He looks dead. Do I have all the sheet music? I think I'm missing one more. Hmm. Let's scratch up this one too. back here. Hey, Doc. I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Is that where the thing is in the safe? This is a cool area. I like this. Oh, I knocked over the books. Didn't know I could do that. October 11th. Alright. Is it these? You see. Shit! There's books everywhere. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I combined an insectometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Cool. What's up there? Something's lighting up. I feel like I should go look at it. Oh! 
Oh! I'm sleeping up there. I didn't know that's what that was for. I was like, I just wanna... I thought it was a collectible or something. Alright, enough of that. I like this area, though. It's cool. The books and everything. I feel like they're all gonna be in, like, the same area-ish. I feel like I gotta follow the lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lights. Can I talk to this dude? Oh no, not again! I wanted to push the pain off the edge and be an asshole. Translate. Ventilation power supply. Should I pull the plug? Oh, I had to anyway to get in there. Alright. I wanna get down. Stop jumping around. Ooh, water. Sip, sip, sip. Alright, you've had enough. in one of these boxes. Oh, yep, there it is. Can I... Finally! The last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zbletar. All trace of organic life has disappeared, except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an incredible rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If I can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Alright. I want to look around in here some more first. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh, he's up higher. How did I get up there? Was it this? It was this. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, you found Clementine's notebook. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. Doc's notebook. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of great discovery. Where's the other one? Which one do I need to show him? This one, right? Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible! 
That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Sometimes, Zevlar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Sure! Eat voila, it works. Come with me. I don't know if I read that right, but it's fine. <laughs> It I Oh, he's opening shit. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install a transceiver all at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only you're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Sure will, bud. That building over there? Hey! See you later. I don't know where I'm at. I'm probably going to my death. Rooftops. Oh no, I see the little buggers over there. Get in the carpet. Hell yeah. I'm probably gonna end up dead again. Need anything over there? to jump but it wouldn't let me full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. Mm-hmm. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Sweet! Was I not supposed to go this way? I don't think I was. Oh!
That was scary. All these metal things are so scary to jump onto, you just never know if it's gonna collapse. Oh, we're getting deep into the fucking Zergs, huh? Oh! Break it stuff. Back door. Oh, shit. Um... I think I get it. I think. There we go. Alright. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. No kitty! Down kitty! go this way. This is so cool. Look at this. Well, that's not- that looks undone over there, but this part looks cool. Is that out- up and out? That looks like it's up and out. That's weird, though. That's, like, really far up. I feel like that's where I fell, but I'm not sure. Like, it's weird. The sticky part makes weird noise. Such a smart kitty! Such a smart kitty! Oh, why are you running the other way? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. All the houses are like invaded. I'm gonna get chased up here, I can feel it. Can I translate this? I mean, I kind of already can tell what it says, but... Authorized personnel only. Where do I go? Probably gonna die. Don't touch me. Oh. Oh, they're still following me. What the fuck? That was scary. That was so scary. I hate them. Where am I going? Can I go up this way? I can. Why would I want to let them out, though? Can't I go this way, too? So that's not a cage, is it? I don't know what's happening. 
Oh, I need that, don't I? Two. I think. There's a thing over here. Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. Is that the Zerks? And now we have Zerks? I fucking knew it! Let's go. I feel like I'm gonna miss one of the memories already. I need that barrel to be able to get up here. Hurry! Oh shit. That was a close one. Oh, please don't come over here. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna sob. Did I not? Oh, I gotta open the door, don't I? Shit. Is it not far enough? Oh, shit! Can I- How can I not jump up on this fence? Alright, I'm safe for now. Shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. That was scary. Everything's very scary. I'm scared to pull that. Is it for the elevator, though? I think it's for the elevator. I'm surprised that fucker still works! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Come on, baby! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 God damn it! There is too many of them! Why? Alright, we're here again. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay as far away from them as possible. It's hard! It's hard pushing the alt button when you're trying to run at the same time. No wonder why they said controller would be easier. I see the struggle now. Oh shit. Just loop them. Loop them for days. No! can't jump that high. Thank god I made it. That took me a few tries.
He gonna sit on this stool and wait. Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Where? This thing? I thought I'd have to like put it on the top of the top of the thing. <laughs> Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but there are only not lights marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came to a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren unlivable and dangerous but if you came from there it must mean it's safe again and my promise wasn't just to go to the outside it was to open the city i still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't but i'm certain now this is my purpose i have to open the city come on let's go back and find momo now that we've connected the transmitter we should be able to get help Sweet. I didn't miss anything back here, did I? I don't think I can get up anywhere. Alright, guys. I'm gonna leave this video here. I like this game a lot. Um, there's just, you know, tiny issues with objects glitching through the floor and, like, I don't know. It's just... I feel like it could have been better developed or cleaned up. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, if you guys want to see more of this video, please give me a like to let me know you're enjoying it. And subscribe to keep updated with all my videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!